Hello everyone and welcome back to the devlog for my still unnamed city builder game. A lot of progress has been made this week and before we hop into it, please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to keep up to date on the progress being made on this game. And if you like the video, don't be afraid to let me know by hitting that like button down below. Now let's take a look at this week's progress. One major aspect of this game will be feeding your citizens and a major component of that will be the farm. Farms will allow players to grow food for their growing population. I plan on making this a deep system that will include crafting raw materials into food products that can be consumed. While there's still so much more to add to this system in the game's current state, some progress was made on that system this week. The models for both corn and wheat have been created. These models will appear when the crops are, respectively, chosen from the farm's UI. On Thursday, I didn't have much time to work on the game, but I still managed to knock out a small task. I updated the selection visuals from a clunky yellow ring to a highlight around the building model. I was able to take a day off work on Friday and put in a good amount of time into development. To start, the work camp had no visual effects to let the player know if it was operational or not. I created an animation that shows the camp is asleep, implying to the player that nothing is happening here. The real progress on Friday, however, was adding the grid system. This is the system that will be used to allow players to place buildings. Getting the base of this system built was a massive win for the week. At first I tried a tutorial. While there were a few out there, they were either more focused on simply placing items in the world with no grid to restrict where items can be placed or they were so focused on building the grid system, but not really for placing items onto. I ended up making one from scratch. It's not a perfect system yet, but it's functional. Saturday was a mixed bag. In addition to all of our kids, we also had four nieces and a nephew over. I was still able to get some stuff done, including an area of effect for parks, which will play a role in the happiness of the population. Most of the time Saturday, however, was spent trying to figure out the lighting system in Unreal Engine 5. The lighting was insanely bright, and the intensity was not properly adjusting. As long as the intensity was not zero, the scene would light up with the same level of brightness, as if it were 100 or whatever. Finally, I discovered it had to do with the exposure setting. However, that seems to have been changed since Unreal Engine 4, where there was an option to turn it on or off. Now it seems it's done through a post-processing volume object. Once I figured that out, I was able to create a basic day-night cycle. All things considered, it was a pretty productive week. I'm happy with the progress that was made. As the weather cools down, I'll be able to take more days off of work to dedicate time to the game. And I'm looking forward to seeing the state of the game in a couple of months. If you like that video and want to keep up with the progress made in the game, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want smaller, more frequent updates, you can follow me on x slash twitter at HaydenMarlow underscore. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.